morning. Well, we we found you some work with this man named Jeremy, but I watch out. He's he's trouble. Hi, I'm Ron, your new ranch hand. So, well, I have one question. What seems to have been going on lately? Well, as of late, things have been getting a little out of hand. I know. What do you know? I know that this grazing issue is a very big problem. Many people take it too seriously. I know that if someone or something doesn't stop it, the world could be without grass as we know it! What then, huh? I know that you and I are the only ones able to stop it. I know that you are going to need my help. Impressive, but what do you know about the facts? Not much, but that's why I'm here, to learn from you. I personally believe that animals should be allowed to graze on public lands, but until things clear up, it is my job to prevent that. Ironic, isn't it? Why? Why is it ironic? No. Why do you believe it? Well, it's, it's obvious. Without grazing, many people's lives would be ruined, and cows too. Cattle grazing can help to improve wildlife and biodiversity. Cows poop, right? Their poop fertilizes the soil. Cattle also help manage fire. If we were to get rid of all the cattle, I mean, who would there to be take care of the weeds? Weeds would grow uncontrollably and dominate everything. And and no more hamburgers! That might happen if we stop letting the street would greatly suffer. Rancher Steve Roftopolis, whose family has held ranching operation, is totally reliant on public lands to rotate it. its 2,000 cows and 10,000 sheep for grazing throughout the year. What do you think would happen to Steve? Our job is to lead these cows into what we think is safe land. To protect them until this little dilemma is, need I say it, over. Yay! I'll be with you until the end, Master. Well, sun's almost down. You can sleep in the cabin with me tonight. It looks like it's going to be cold. Uh... Uh, 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 are you are you sure? Boris, don't be silly. Our cattle! They must have gone while we were sleeping! I should have stayed outside and watched them! You mustn't blame yourself! It's not your fault! Oh, I don't know what we're going to do, our poor cattle! Oh my god! Ah! You let your grand craze on my on our property! Now I step into poop! And my grass is gone! Yeah, mine too! Yeah, get him! Boss! Oh, why can't we live in peace? Why? Why don't we try instituting short grazing seasons, biannual resting of metals, reduced stocking rates, restrictive stream disturbance state standards, 20% utilization rates, or rigorous enforcement actions when permit terms are violated? But why do you have to kill my boss? I'm sorry we had to resort to this, but it, it, it is a serious issue. You need to take it seriously. Grazing can damage public resources and prevent restoration of those precious lands. Cattle spreads evasive plants to different areas and can also degrade watersheds and native fisheries on a stupidity. Grazing can also disintegrate deer habit, hurt willow dependent bird populations, and many other terrible things. Do you still think it's not a serious problem now? Oh, I'm sorry I had to kill him, but it, it had to be done. Grazing is fun. It's also You should learn how to do it in school. Just ask Mr. Matthews to teach you how. And once you learn, you'll say, Wow. Rangeland, it's so cool. Rangeland. 
rocks my socks right off my feet I love rangelands and I wanna let my cows graze all night That's the end of our skit, thank you!